there is no international community uh, that can uh, prohibit the fact that a populist movement win the election. I don't think they will, uh, because I'm sure that um, Matteo Renzi and our party and our government in political elections uh, will be confirmed. But in the case they win, they win. This is democracy. And you can't imagine to have a one electoral law or another against the possibility of a populist movement to win the elections. Because if they win, they can win with this law, with another law, and with a third one. It's not an, an issue of laws. As far as electoral laws are concerned, the Italian electoral law uh, requires from uh, the party winning the elections an amount of votes higher than the one uh, required in UK or in France. So this is, I think, frankly speaking, that there is a lot of confusion. Yes. Many um, people understandably, because it's not their job, it's not their business. They are dealing with international affairs, not with a legislative process in Italy. Don't have any idea of, of, of what we are discussing about. We are discussing about the changement of the role of the two branch of the Italian parliament. Let's get clarity on this yeah. point then. Let's say the people vote yes in this referendum. Does that make the possibility of a five-star movement government forming higher or lower? No, period. Nor higher. Doesn't nor, change the probability. Not at all. It's nothing to do with this. And if electoral law is changed to increase proportional representation, because that's the belief that if the people vote no, actually the electoral law will change in the opposite direction because all other parties, including yours, have an incentive to try and stop the Five Star Movement taking power. Well, if the no will prevail, nothing will change with the electoral law because the referendum is not about the electoral law. No. The referendum is about the, uh, the role of the Senate and of the lower house and the relation between region and central state. This is what the referendum is about. Uh, we will discuss the electoral law after this. Obviously, if the no prevail, the no is not a political alternative because the no is Berlusconi and the Five Star Movement together, uh, the extreme left and uh, the extreme right together. What makes this uh, uh, different position uh, go together? The idea to stop uh, the Prime Minister Renzi, initiative and reforms. I am very blunt on this. I understand that it could appear a political uh, point, but it is a political point, but it is true. I think every Italian knows that those uh, asking for no are completely divided on everything except one thing. They are willing to stop the Renzi reform process. And I think that the majority of the Italian at the end will avoid this risk. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.